Welcome to another episode of Kiss My Batch, the one and only show that discusses the world's most favorite football league, the English Premier League. Yes, and a shout out to our content partner, Match Day Affairs. Affairs. Maybe too, uh, still early. Still early, still early. Uh, but there's a lot of teams that are maybe not supposed to be there. We don't expect it to be there. Mm. So let's talk about the current league standings. Okay, number one, Everton. Still riding high. After six games, they are at the top of the league with 13 points. Uh, that's matched with Liverpool at second spot. After six games, we also got 13 points. Uh, number three is Aston Villa. Finally, uh, they have lost one game. Uh, now they are actually at third spot with 12 points. Number four is Leicester City. After six games, they also have 12 points. But to note, Aston Villa has only played five games. After game week six, they only played five games. So they got one game in hand. Okay, number five is Tottenham Hotspurs. After six games, they are uh, with 11 points. Very and, hot, uh, yeah. Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur. Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> but the one that is uh, in the top six leading, <laughs> I also give, want to give a pun, leading the charge also is actually Leeds United. They are at number six in the mm. table with 10 points. Yeah. And that's together with Southampton and Crystal Palace. And Same Wolves. Points. And Wolves. And Wolves, yeah. So, so, so where are our traditional big clubs? Okay. People want to know. Where, let's where talk about um, Chelsea. Let's, let's go from the bottom. La. From let's the bottom. Go, uh, from from the bottom, United, okay, bottom okay, first. Yeah. First, yeah, first, 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 first from the bottom. <laughs> Just to give you a... On the, the bottom, most horrible start of our our season. Most horrible, is it? The most yeah. horrible. Uh, it looks huh? like, yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's yeah. what uh, it's been doubted. Mm. But uh, again... Uh, I think I think we had to wake up from the six one, uh, and uh, now we're kind of you know showing some signs of uh, a team playing together because during the thumping, uh, the team was that you can clearly see there was a lack of fitness, and basically the team is not one playing as one. So uh, actually, if both club woke up like, after the trashing. Yeah. Both won, right? Yeah. During the Premier League. Yeah. The following Premier League game. Yeah. So. But yeah. um But still bottom. Quite different. <laughs> <laughs> quite different. Eh? Yeah. Still, still we got 13 okay. points. Yeah. They are number 15. Uh, but, <laughs> but we we do have 15. a game in hand. We do yeah, have, yeah, a, have a game in hand. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. What about the other big clubs? So or the, big the clubs? second from the bottom is actually their noisy neighbour, Manchester City. Who's only one point away. Yeah, also oh, with only point. five games. Yeah. Uh, five games only, played five games only. Mm -hmm. uh, languishing at 13th spot with eight points only. So this is quite surprising. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then after that is Arsenal and Chelsea. So Chelsea at number 10, Arsenal at number 11. And both are with nine points. There's no like... Teams looking like champions yet. Yeah, anybody can be anybody. Yeah. Yeah. This season is really... We and always say unpredictable, lah, but this season is truly, truly unpredictable. And I mean, oh it's goodness. still early stages. When you talk about it, you usually, uh, as we always do, look back at the previous season, we were telling ourselves, right? Like, it will only start to show up once you have like 10 games, 15 mm. games. So we're like match week seven yeah and at match week seven the table looks like a jumbo it's yeah. not it's not yeah it's, it's like some tikam tikam like that. Yeah. basically like three four teams sharing the same point points mm. yeah so they're not we're, we're not pulling away nobody's pulling away from it yeah, yeah i mean i mean at this stage it is expected many teams to have the same point Mm. And there's no runaway leaders at this moment in time. Mm. So there's at least minimum two teams within the same points. But are there any teams that you think is really unexpected at where they are now? I Other think than the most are. impressive to me that we, and we talked about it last week, right, with Sasi, right, is uh, Everton. Mm. I think they have uh, really big potential. Yeah. And so far they've been playing unfortunate. Uh, James Rodriguez got uh, injured. And I think Nick Charlison also injured, yeah. right? Uh, uh, Rekat. 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 Three games, oh, Rekat. Three games banned. Ban. Yeah. But Sasi bluff us. <laughs> I, I mean, think they, are, they look good, but I think, of course, the depth. They're not enough yes, yes, depth. Yes. 
Depth is very important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so I think yeah. Aston Villa is only there because they had a easy good run start. of games. They got a good start. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Easy yeah. run yeah. of games. So they haven't really uh, met a. Uh, I mean, other than beating uh, Liverpool, uh, <laughs> they haven't seen a, you know, a challenging team yet as of yet until the previous game they had a loss. Uh, which is unexpected, right? You you thought you know after dumping Liverpool, they should go on to achieve uh, greater things, but uh, I guess that's where the true colors start to show. And yes. and I mean, looking at the table now, other than Aston Villa and maybe Everton, you know you have the usual suspects there. You you have your Leicester, you have your Tottenham. Tottenham is pushing pushing hard. Immediately, yeah, previously yeah. they were yeah. pushing hard yep. towards the end. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, mm. But that's because we you know Mourinho had to come in, settle yeah. down with this. Mm. So today, this time around, this is Mourinho's full season. Yep, yeah. starting already. Uh, starting yeah, with, with all his signings. So quite that's impressive. Why huh? They have been playing quite impressively. Impressive. Yeah, impressive. Uh, Sun is uh, highest goal scorer. Yeah. They they scored sixteen goals all together. Oh, total. But so he is leading at leading with eight goals. Eight, eight goals. goals. Oh, total. Spurs is uh, has scored. Yes. Yeah, but they are the highest scoring team. Yeah, they are the highest scoring team. And other than Sun being the highest scoring, Kane is the highest assist. Yeah. 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 So looks like Mourinho doing uh, well. what uh, I mean. He's he's uh, doing what he does best. Uh. I mean, yeah. he, what he cannot achieve in Man U. Mm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like Mourinho has gone to Spurs. He's ob- obviously an inherited a good team, mm. right? They were the Champions League uh, finalists on the previous that year when Pochettino got sacked. Uh, but so he's inherited a good core team, mm. and then he's gone on to just solidify the positions that need covering. Mm. For example, he bought uh, the player from Southampton to mm. you know. Be a holding midfielder. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he wanted to uh, push uh, Sissoko up further. Mm-hmm. Uh, who Sissoko is a very solid player for Spurs, and and that way, and Dombele also has competition. Mm-hmm. The way he played against United, you know that you know he's hungry, yep. and because there is someone else brought in in his yeah. position, mm-hmm. so there's competition, there's mm-hmm. desire to you know win. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, fight for sports, and that's what I think the entire Spurs team is doing. That like Delhi Ali is practically a non-starter mm. now mm. because the the up front you got Lucas Mora, yeah. uh, Ramela, R- Pamela, Pamela not not <laughs> not being a, a regular starter, but he is still you know knocking the door. Yeah, and, super yeah, super and 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 with Sun and and Kane Kane in uh, good form like that, you cannot go wrong. So maybe Maguire needs a competitor also lah. And the thing is, he has now. He has now. He has now. He has now. Because uh, if you're following, you should have caught the uh, news where we beat uh, uh, Paris Saint Germain to one. Yes, yes. And during that game, this Excel Twanzebe, he performed like, like, like you know, like a veteran defender. Yeah, yeah. You know, shutting Neymar and Co. Effectively, yeah. and it's not like he put in a hard shift, yeah. but he made it look so easy. Like then, why why is Maguire back in the Chelsea game? I mean, um, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, huh. he start hugging people and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, penalty. He's yeah, lonely. he's lonely. Right. What? <laughs> he's lonely. <laughs> he's, <laughs> the the thing about Maguire is, I have a love hate relationship for him only because, uh, he's got so much potential. Yet, when it comes to showing, he just. Does not go the full mile. Like he go stops halfway, and like during the Chelsea game, he was painful to watch. Even though he didn't really put in a lot of bad foot in, mm. other than the hugging. Uh, but like his clearance was annoying, super annoying. Like can pump yeah. beyond the halfway line, but he'll pump like, to the to Maybe the it's wet. Uh. It's wet. It's I mean, heavy it could rain. Be, I yeah, mean, it yeah, could yeah, be, but I just feel like someone with that kind of strength and feature. He should be doing so much better in terms of ball strength, mm. and and his I, feature helped him actually. Yeah, a lot of haters he won. Yeah, correct. His so feature, his feature. <laughs> so that's why that's why I say it's a love hate relationship, and and the problem is, and the problem is obviously during the summer, uh, you know he had this personal stuff, you know, with the Greek police oh. got arrested and stuff like that. So, so that affected him. That obviously affected because obviously he went to rescue his sister, yeah. all that family stuff. Going on, and then he just has to zero in his head 
back into the thing and and because of Tuan Zerbe, you got Lindelof, Eric Bailly who's like you know still in contention and then of course uh, you know we've bought new defenders as well so we got Teles so competition is very good and and I and I love to see finally you know we have that kind of depth they scarce the players to perform. I think uh, everyone has said that Manchester United has quality mm. players. It's just that the manager not so. The manager, is good hey, but but the manager has beat a lot of uh, managers now. Hmm? No, Be- there is the there is obviously obviously the there is this criticism that uh, Shosha is not always playing his best team, mm-hmm. and but if you look at his stats, uh, that will tell you otherwise. I mean, he's beaten most top coaches already. He beat. Uh, Pep twice over the season, uh, with the with the addition of the last night's game with the five zero win against uh, RB Leps- Leps- Leipzig yeah Leipzig Leipzig Leipzig, mm-hmm. Leipzig or Leipzig 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 whatever mm-hmm. I can't pronounce this but mm-hmm. yeah you know German table leaders right now Bundesliga leaders right now so they obviously yeah. are playing really well at their league and to just you know thumb them. I mean, it wasn't easy. It got easier after the first two goals went in. Mm-hmm. Uh, it kind of opened the floodgates. But, you know, you finally see... Because he's always been criticised like, oh, the PE teacher, you know, he... That's his, like, nickname. Other Maybe. than, you know, Ole you know, at the week. Uh, yeah, 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 thank you for telling us. Because I was I was reading about it, but, but the criticism is, yeah, the PE teacher... But the PE teacher has beat most top team player uh, managers already. He beat Pep twice, uh. so that he means beat. by right actually. Uh, the only team obviously United he will look for. Place. <laughs> City should be number fifteen. <laughs> obviously, 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 because you know you still got the likes of we've got, still got uh, you know teams to play. Mm. And, uh, when I mean top player, uh, top managers, you're talking about Jose. We beat obviously we beat Spurs once. And Pep twice over the course of last season, and uh, and of course we denied Liverpool the victory once and drew once, uh, sorry by drawing once, and then of course you guys beat us once last mm. season. And so I mean, in terms of stats, he's really looking good. It's just I I'm not too sure why is he's so heavily criticized, and it comes to a point where it's annoying because, like, if you want to call Sosha as a PE teacher, then what would you call Ateta? Like credentials, right? What would you call him? What would you call I don't Ateta? know if he's if if Osocha is PE teacher, then he's the assistant PE teacher, lah. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, but but look this... at, look talk about experience, right? Talk mm. about experience. The number of games Sosha has played versus Ateta, the kind of highest levels we're talking about, uh, the time. The types of uh, achievements we're talking about titles winning right he, uh, he obviously is a legend he's won two champions leagues with united uh, and many multiple uh, titles with uh, i mean english premier league fa cup okay, I'm, I'm, i'll be on your side on this part uh, because i think for this season arsenal have lost to two of the big side so they have never won the top sides uh, for the past few years already so they lost to Liverpool, they lost to Manchester City. So you can say that Arteta may not be and lost to Leicester City. And they lost to Leicester. And City. with that, we go into the first game they're talking about Manchester United hosting <laughs> Arsenal. Yeah, so they, he's more so, confident, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, he's more confident. I mean, I, 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 this is only because plus uh, home, right? He's Old Trafford. Yeah, Old, Old Trafford. Trafford. It's Old Trafford. Plus, we are coming off a good bounce right. back because yeah. after the thumping, we got four games. Mm. We had Newcastle. Comprehensively beat Newcastle. We went on to Chelsea. It mm. was a draw, and then of course we went to Paris, beat Paris, and then yesterday's game was the five zero thumping. Uh, so it come. It, it's time so to it's go down. Confi- it's, yeah, conf- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's on confident mood, you know. Uh, time, and time. hopefully, hopefully we just continue on. And and finally, I feel like the team is ready to show the league where they are because. First of all, the squad is rotating. Yesterday's team was different from the team that started against Chelsea. Uh, players were rested. The new players who stepped up, they stepped up the game, they performed. 
and then reinforcements like Bruno Rashford but this Rashford. is normal this is normal for Manchester United right they play yeah. five games very well yeah, then they play the next five games very, uh, very, very poorly I mean, I mean that's that's obviously something that we should not repeat mm. I mean because this obviously we're coming from project restart and then a short break in between and then you know football new season with Champions League commitments now so Obviously, there's going to be all these problems with injury problems. Not, I mean, talk about injury problems and suspensions. I mean, you should know. You should know. There's so many things happening and it's all at, uh, at this very inconvenient I think it's not time. just about uh, injury, you know, for Manchester United. It's about excluding people. Should hmm. you exclude Maguire? Yeah. And should you exclude Pogba? Pogba did amazingly yesterday. Really? Last night, I maybe mean, maybe he's good Pogba, because Pogba is okay. So the reason for Pogba's, uh, because the past few games, let's don't talk about the, the the Tottenham game, right? He was shit. But from from Tottenham game onwards, uh, after you talk about the Newcastle, he came in impact. <laughs> okay, Newcastle lah. Newcastle he came came Newcastle. in. Newcastle. Newcastle mm, Okay. All right. Paris, he came in impact. Mm. He was in fact he assisted. Rashford for the goal and then you talk about uh, Chelsea was you know he just did his normal game uh, and of course in that game you could see after a while both teams were really not challenging each other in fact it felt like towards the end they were playing each other out for a draw so I, I believe all this fatigue and game management comes into play and and of course then you you saw a pop bar revitalized yesterday and just went like a mad dog. And of course, uh, with Champions League, you can make five changes. So obviously, he played until like 80th minute, I think. So you would want him to start? Against yes, definitely. Us, definitely. Yeah. definitely. So I mean, Maguire also. He's, Maguire. he's ready to start. I believe he's ready okay. to start. Then so, Maguire as well. As, as well. For, oh. for, for what Sassi has said before, I think he, he himself says that Pogba is actually a, a boon of uh, United. Yep. Because... When he doesn't perform, he's like a he's like a bad egg in the middle of the field where you know it's ten versus eleven instead of like eleven versus eleven. Mm, yeah. So Sasi has uh, I remember that he said he's he said that as long as Pogba and Maguire is not playing right, United should be okay. Uh-huh. And for me, I feel that uh, if you want to compare like uh, managers, okay, not say not not talk, talking about team lah because team quality, I think uh, both of you guys are quite equal, but manager wise because. Uh, if we don't talk about what Sokshe has won in his play yeah. days, which doesn't apply onto his managerial uh, days at all, to me, yep. uh, Ateta is un- has been training under the wing of Pep Guardiola, one of the most exciting and best manager uh, currently in the system in all over the world, uh, basically as a manager. So he has absorbed to be a fraud. Yeah, but he, he You have to them. acknowledge that. Don't 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 give you too much high praise. But no you cannot deny. You, you, no. you take you take a team of uh the most expensive players and if you give it to a coach who doesn't know anything, they still may not play well. That's the that's the one thing I have to say. Okay, so if you want to call him fraud, it's fine. To me, I'm okay with Pep. Just just call him no, as it is. No opinion. I don't have opinion again. Yeah, you, because you, honestly, you. honestly you talk about track record then then be consistent yeah. because if you want to say Sosha has the best players or not the best players uh-huh. and then he doesn't use his system properly or players properly uh-huh. then talk no, about I'm, I'm talking about no I'm, you know, I'm talking about uh, if you're talking about managers not in terms of players because players I think both of you have equal uh, equal uh, I mean if you talk players. about Arsenal I guess I guess in terms of uh, midfield options obviously now with Scott Fred and then Matic, and then you got Van Der Beek, and uh, Bruno, Mata, Pogba. So mm. midfield is looking way better in for, terms you of, la, for, for you us. For yeah. us. So I believe the game would be also won in the midfield. So this game would be a midfield kind of game because if you talk about the front, you've got speedy players, we've got speedy players. I think. In terms of speed, we don't have to talk about it. Both teams are, I think, one of the fastest. Well, defense, the you got Luis, you got Maguire. Exactly. So, so liabilities in the same, same, probably. <laughs> same, same, same uh, department. <laughs> probably. Equal. But but obviously, obviously, you know, it depends on how we set up that day. Really, it could go for uh, how we started against Paris with three centre back with uh, win backs. 
uh, or we could just be playing three at the back. If you have a uh, if you have a team which is uh, performing well already, right? Then why not Soxha just keep on using the same tactics? Then 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 people people criticize him for not using players. See, that's the problem. It's like a double edged sword. It's like you got so many players, and then you s- try to f- stick with one, and then sooner or later things don't go your way. That's when people criticize you. I feel like no. The like, problem is, I think he's sticking to a player which is not performing well, like Maguire. Example. No, I understand, but but did you? I mean, for me, I I I found his his press conference regarding Maguire mm-hmm. uh, convincing for me because at the end of the day, you know, you have to give the player time. If you don't, that's when he gets sucky. Like if you don't keep, it's like it's like okay, you had a lousy game. Do better the next one. That's it. Move along. But for this case, I want Maguire to play against Arsenal. Uh, I mean, yeah. I want to yeah, because he's probably. he's an aerial threat. You know, when it comes to he might make pieces. that mistake. He might yeah. pull his own defender down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's he's one thing. WWE. Or he can score against. Uh, he's a WWE player. Uh, Arsenal. We won't know. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can hit some. Balls. That's why there's a 50-50 chance. Exactly. So I, yeah. I don't mind yeah. him playing. He may yeah. tackle in in your box and yeah. he may tackle in his box. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> right. right. So yeah. I'll, I'll take that chance. Uh, ah. That 50-50. I would say that maybe Menu has a better chance in this game because at home and at they home. are doing. Uh, well, but there's no fans Arsenal are now. don't have a no. I mean, Arsenal don't have a record against the big sides. But I hope that this weekend things change for Arsenal. That okay. Man U will be the first big team that goes down uh, to Arsenal. and towards yeah big, for, big, for Arsenal. Big, big, big the the big thing, the thing is, if you want to yeah, see yeah, the yeah, stats, that's right? That's the hope. That's the hope. The stats are mm. last three games that these two teams met, right? Mm. Okay, let's say last year, Arsenal won two zero. And then they draw the game before, and then two games before Arsenal won two zero again. Mm-hmm. So actually Arsenal has been has won twice and drawn once with yep. United. Has has got a better chance. So you may not know, but that's the thing. It's Arsenal. But so that's I the thing. That, <laughs> exactly, that's the thing. It's Arsenal. So it's many. We, <laughs> we can talk about all these games, but we still finish higher than Arsenal. Point noted. See? Case. See? Oh, so basically, at the end of the season, you're not talking. I, I'm, as long as higher than Arsenal. If if, if, <laughs> if if we are gonna if we are gonna beat our chest and say who's better, then I mean that's the only way to show who's better lah. Who's higher lah on the table lah. Exactly. La. So yeah. in both those seasons, we did finish higher than Arsenal. That was the last season was actually kind of. I a, feel like, like being Martin Kion. <laughs> Martin Kion. <laughs> I, I feel like to. Martin Kion. <laughs> 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 That's the final whistle. Do get their draw, but it's not finished yet. They're all around Ruud van Nistelrooy. The uh, video men who assess incidents after matches might be having a look at the last uh, knockings here. The stats is burning you, is it? Yeah, yeah, the stats. No lah. What stats did you? What in terms of? There's no stats. I mean, we we last season obviously you beat us, right? Mm-hmm. Last the last stat two zero you mm-hmm. beat us. The draw. But we we yeah. we obviously uh, landed in a much better position, right? We were third last season. Yeah, but then when you jumped over because of the the last last game or after something. After the restart. Yeah, mm. last game. I mean, obviously after the restart. Man, you just like woke up from the grave, like kind of. They were the ones who woke up from the grave. They were not they, performing. They, they did also. They, they the did best. also, but the best we, we obviously eventually uh, unbeaten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like that also can be invincible. Can I say no? Really? Like that also can. Uh. Can okay, but, so, uh, but ultimately, I would say I, I'm really looking forward to this game because uh, obviously you are coming back from a setback. Uh, uh, was a, a very tight. You know, game against mm. Leicester and then uh, only losing one yeah. zero. So I believe it was played at the highest, uh, and of course, just you know. we are we are a bit of disadvantage, lah. You guys got two two extra days of rest mm. Mm. because tonight we got Europa game, ah, yeah. which so should be which should be a a a, a test bit, right? To, to play your formations and rest players for the game. Deep. Depends, ah. Uh. Depends, depends, depends on the I priority. I mean, that's the, the thing. Th- that's the thing. If you, if you talk about depth, then this is the time where you rest yeah, the proper true. players, and that's then. That's true. Mm. I hope. I hope. Yeah. I hope Arteta rotates yeah. well. Rotates I, well. I, I hope you guys rotate well because Liverpool mm. cannot rotate anymore. <laughs> 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 we lost Van Dijk. We lost Fabinho. 
<laughs> Wait, but you got consolation and Alison is back. Yeah. Yeah, and and Jota is performing. Your new signing is performing, yeah, scoring Jota, a lot of goals, Jota. huh? Yeah. Jota. Going back to the Manchester United and Arsenal mm. game, right? So we all have our sides, right? Mm. What about you? What do you what, what do you think will be the outcome? Me, ah, uh, draw lah. Man, <laughs> man in the middle. Simple lah, huh? draw. <laughs> draw. You know why? Any- <laughs> you every time he asks for draw, you know we all know why, right? Yeah. Why? Because he. Benefits your Liverpool. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. But like what? You ask me as a neutral. I cannot be neutral. <laughs> you happy right? Last week, last game week, everybody get a very bad result, and then yeah. you you get a win. We consider a penalty, but we win. <laughs> we won. <laughs> no, last game yeah. was yeah. Was it victory, man? Yeah. Yeah, Sheffield. victory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Sheffield I mean, United. compared to yeah, the yeah, other yeah, yeah. Yeah. teams, yeah. like uh, we had a draw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a yeah. Draw. yeah. Loss. yeah. Uh, Spurs still still win. Still win. Uh, last still week won, Spurs yeah. still one one zero, and it was a Kane heading assist mm. to City. Son City. City also won, right? City also won. Yeah, yeah. City also. Won. Yeah. So you know, City drew. I think City drew. City drew. So to me, it's like yeah. last, last yes. week is good. <laughs> 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 Football genius. <laughs> See, so, so the benefits. results were good for you. Benefit yeah. for for last that's game why, week. That's why I hope it's a draw again. <laughs> Benefiting us. <laughs> hey, hey, you're not thinking. Yeah. Hey, this is a talk show, lah. <laughs> you know, okay, you. if you asking me, right? He was to be a draw, right? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> it, but the thing is, if if I don't choose a draw, I will still choose uh, Arsenal win because United. <laughs> so I cannot be biased. Both is, both is I cannot be biased. Yeah. I, I, you I, cannot right. be unbiased. I cannot be unbiased. You cannot I am, be unbiased. No, but, but judging yeah. from from past results, mm. looking at the holistic view with the uh, teams. Yeah. Okay. Actually, look. If, That's what we want. Yes. If, if, if if I want it's to okay be, if you say United win, you know. If I want, yeah, but must yeah. have. If I want to be like really, really into statistics, right? I think United has a better chance of winning yeah, this time I see. That's because the uh, the way I see United play against Chelsea, other than Rain and other than Maguire trying the clock hug on everybody or whatever, um, they were playing quite smooth against a uh, Chelsea with Harvards with Pulisic with uh, Reese James and all the Werner, stars inside. Werner no shots. That's uh, against so another like, inexperienced yeah. manager. Yeah. But, oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But but for a quality like that, right? Um, the players, I don't know what Soksha told them before and all that. Uh, if you if you put the manager aside, the players were actually playing quite yeah, well. Yeah, I mean against uh, Chelsea, we we had very good shots. Uh, Mendy almost caught a own goal. Did you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He then, tried to pass it. And then, the but then after that, he was on yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was, was good. Was every it, other yeah. shot, he was flying, flying, safety, yeah, flying flew yeah. everywhere. So if he was not an agile keeper, that's all United's yeah. goal. So better check. Yeah. Actually, don't need to resign. <laughs> just, just take the contract. <laughs>